Hello guys, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad to welcome you to another video. This video is for the international students who wish to study in Canada or either if they are studying in Canada as well. This is a warning video. I am going to tell you a mistake that some guy actually did and he might even be deported to his home country. And I don't want you to repeat this mistake. So, so yes, this video is for all the international students. If you are willing to come to Canada through a permanent resident permit, then you can skip this video. But if you're an international student, do not do this mistake. Which mistake? I'm going to tell you right now. Okay guys, so as I told you, this video is for those international students who are either studying in Canada or who have dreams to study in Canada. So this is about a news which was published today in globalnews.ca. I'll provide the link to that article in the description box, you can check it out. So what happened lately, uh, probably in December, an Indian student from Punjab was actually driving a truck. A uh, policeman actually asked him to pull over to do some regular checks. What he found out at that point of time that uh, everything was fine uh, with the driver, no issues as such. But uh, then when he asked from his logbook, he found out that his working hours were actually more than what, are, what an international student is allowed to do. So an international student is actually allowed to work 20 hours a week and that's a part-time work. So you're only allowed to work 20 hours a week if you're an international student in Canada uh, off campus so what he was doing he was actually driving much more than that probably 35 or 40 hours that was what his logbook suggested so he told the truth that yes I've been driving it for so long and uh, I have been regularly regularly been driving it it's a full-time job so immediately the police officer actually um, handcuffed him this was what was actually disappointing uh, that the police officer handcuffed him and uh, he put him uh, over in his uh, in, in the car and then he uh, took him along to the CBSA office. Now I think CBSA is a Canada Border Security Agency and he was told that he might be deported to India the very next day. Uh, luckily that didn't happen and he is still in Canada. He hired a lawyer and he is actually uh, probably fighting a case uh, but yes he did a mistake that uh, he broke a rule a very major rule so yes this is a learning for for all of you guys as well that this is this is not a criminal offense he claimed that he didn't uh, commit any crime as such he didn't kill anybody he didn't uh, do any kind of robbery so why is he being handcuffed and why is he being you uh, know why such a strict action is being taken against him of uh, deporting him to his home country and he, at that point of time he was just 10 days away from his uh, from getting his uh, degree or probably completing his studies so obviously which was, this was very disappointing and shattering uh, kind of a moment for him so guys this is something which is taken very seriously in Canada if you're allowed to work for 20 hours you should not work more than that many people I've heard that many people do it uh, probably you know not even 40 hours but they do it like uh, for 25 hours sometimes they do some, some cash jobs or whatever it is you should not do it or you might be even deported to your home country it's not just about India it's from uh, the people coming from all over the world to Canada they take it very seriously so this was the news that I wanted to convey to you guys and I, I thought you know it's my uh, duty to tell you guys uh, if you are doing it if in the future you have you don't have money to support your uh, uh, your studies over here uh, it was the same same was the case with him at the, this point of time he said that uh, the study expenses were too high he had to support his brother who was actually uh, coming in Canada uh, so he was actually studying uh, he was actually supporting two people himself and his brother uh, for his studies he was not doing anything wrong and uh, his statement was his lawyer statement was rather that uh, he was actually getting punished for working but yes uh, in a way it is uh, right you can say on a, on a humanitarian background it might not be right, the right decision but yes it's against the laws that if you're working 
uh, more than uh, 20 hours a week. You know, anything can happen with your uh, with your study visa permit. So if you do have plans to come to Canada and if you think that uh, you know you don't have the money, you'll do that. Please don't think that way because in that way, in that case, things can actually get a lot messier and a lot worse that you can even imagine. You might uh, be deported to your home country. You might not be allowed to enter Canada for the next 10 years. Of course, all of your studies, all of your investment, all the time that you invested for the study would go in vain. So please don't repeat these kind of uh, you know silly mistakes. So thank you guys again for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video.